Page 112, Scarborough Fair. It's another lead sheet thing where they give you the melody and the chords and you've got to harmonize and improvise and make up the stuff. So, three, four times, two flats. We're in the key of two flats is either B flat or G minor. This is in the key of G minor. So make sure you get this melody first. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and dotted with one, and two, and that's tied. And then go up. One, two, E natural here. And then here. Now here I disagree with their fingering. I don't know what they're thinking. This has to be an error. There's no way you're going to finger this this way. Put a thumb on a black key and then come over. No. Oh, please, give me a break. So I'm suggesting you do the thumb on the C. So it's here. Just scratch up and then come over with third finger. That's much better. In my opinion, that's what it should have been. So change that fingering there on the third line. You're here. You can do a three if you want to. Put a thumb on the C. Then cross over third finger on the B flat. Second finger on the A then. And then you can use their fingering if you want. You can use thumb on both because you're lifting up between the phrase. If you don't want to use thumb on both, you can use second finger here. It's alright because you can still reach the D. So make sure you got the melody figured out because you, you, you're going to spend so much time and effort working on the chords, you don't want to be thinking about melody. Then let's go back and make sure we can get these chords. Let's just make sure we got them. Is G minor. Where you play it is up to you. I'm going to play it up here. Now I'm going to use root position first. We'll figure that out later. I'm going to use root position for most of these. And then next time is an F chord. Come down. On the, then back to G minor. And the second line in the middle. It is a C chord with a G on the bottom. So a C chord is here. But if I put the G on the bottom, that's here. So it's so I'm just coming from here to here. That's okay. And back to G minor. And then in the third line down, they sang an F chord with a B flat on the bottom. I think that's an error too. Because an F chord is here. If I wanted to add a B flat, I've got to do that. I, that, that even sounds bad. So I'm going to take it that this chord really should be a B flat chord. And you can, if you want, put the F on the bottom. It's like they just switched it. It's a B-flat chord with an F on the bottom, so it's here. And that's what I'm going to take it to be. Again, you're going to stick with that for a while until the end of the line you get an F chord. And then last line, G minor, F, G minor. Those are the chords, I think. So I think there's an error here, a couple of errors in that third line. Hmm. Then put the hands together and see if it sounds right to you. It's here. Just play block chords to start with. And then here, remember, let's see with G on the bottom. Now here we want the B flat chord with an F on the bottom. Sounds okay harmonically, you can kind of okay. Then you can start playing around with different patterns in the left hand. Here they're using broken chord. There's all kinds of broken patterns you can try, and you experiment, you try it. time you can put in some rests if you want just don't lose track of where you are try different rhythms put in some eighth notes uh, if you
you want, you extend that out to an octave. And this way, and that way you can go one, two, three, one, two, three. That works. You might have to come down here. Saying, I don't know, it's just it, you experiment, have fun with it.